Horticulture is the second biggest hard currency generating sector to the nation's GDP next to coffee sector in 2022-23 fiscal year. Uh, Ministry of Agriculture yeah. and the European Horticulture Producer Exporters Association have organized a conference to discuss major achievements and way of forward in the sector. Despite many challenges, Teoros Zaude, who is Director General of Ethiopian Horticulture Producers Exporters Association, told DBC English that his association registered remarkable achievements. We have a series of challenges. Uh, 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 of the impacts of uh, the Russia and Ukraine war. Uh, this was inflating the cost of doing business. We had also internal challenges in some of the clusters. Security was a critical challenge. So irrespective of this challenge, the sector kept on scoring uh, glittering achievements. Uh, as you heard from the presentation, it's the second largest forex earner to the national economy. So it's operating in a very small uh, chunk of land, but the value is very high. Uh, we kept on uh, uh, having new employees in some of the new clusters. So these are some of the achievements, I would say. And in terms of capacity building, in terms of broadening the market destination as well, uh, the sector uh, is doing quite good. The Director General underlined that his association is working to adjust the existing complications to improve the business environment to register further achievements in the horticulture sector. In the past, we were having about 22 uh, issues uh, on the tax regime of the country. Uh, on the basis of the direction of the government, we commissioned a study and many of the problems are solved through that study document. And uh, we had also a series of engagement with the Ministry of Finance and with the Ministry of Revenue as well. This year, some emerging topics are there, especially two topics are emerging and we are engaging also the concerned officials. Uh, we are also presenting uh, all the needful to the decision makers as well. We hope that it will be solved, otherwise it will complicate the doing business climate for our members. Efforts are needed to alleviate instabilities, challenges of agro-logistics, tax-related challenges, complex bureaucracies, land-lease-related issues, among other problems.